we're at the start of something. Something big. You think? Morello tried to kill the Don. Hey, you need it up the stairs. I'll go straight up. It's war, Tom. From today, we are at war. Haven't seen any trouble just yet. Hey, it true that Don slipped Carla the bump? Not you? Yeah. It wasn't pretty. Still blood in his veins, huh? Lesson, Carlos. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. I want guards and lookouts round the clock. Here, the warehouse, and all our businesses. How about people under our protection? Forget about that. We stick to our own till this is over. I'll remember who picked the wrong side. Our guy's in place. Good. We're finally going after him. Soon. But first, we have to soften them up. Morel's got the cops, the politicians, and even some judges in his pocket. We can't afford to bite them all off, so we need to scare them into abandoning Morella's sinking ship. We bump off the right engine, the rest are going to realize sticking with Morello ain't too good for their health. First in line for the pine box is this asshole, Galati. The counts are still seeing red over his dead kid, so he's never going to turn on Morello. Christ, that guy's been giving us fits since 32. Let me take care of him, boss. Why do you think you're here? Then he's got it all figured out. The counselor is celebrating his birthday with a big shindig on a steamboat. He's pulling out all the stops, booths, broads, fireworks. He's even giving a speech to the press. What kind of security? Just in normal detail, a few guys with Roscoe's. None of the other fellows are gonna do dick to protect that piece of shit. Okay. I'll talk my way into the party, put two on his head. Slow down, Junior. Galati's corrupt, but he ain't stupid. His crew be searching everyone who comes on board, so you can't be carried. So, what? Uh, throw him overboard, see if he can swim. Don't go getting creative on me. You're still going to shoot him, for fuck's sake. When you get on deck, you make for the head. We got a janitor on the take, and he's planted a revolver in the bathroom. And then you just cool your heels. Mingle. Try not to look like a hatchet man until Galati makes his appearance. You wait for that bastard to start his speech, and only then do you put one between his eyes. We want it done in public to get people talking. Sure. But you got a plan for getting back to shore? Sam and Paul are down the docks working on that. You meet up with him there, and I'll fill you in on the rest of the details. Okay. Galati's done, boss. You won't have to worry about him after tonight. I don't doubt it, Tommy. Buona fortuna, Tom.
that when an enterprise of this character is ex Attention folks, attention. We'll get you all aboard, but we will need to see tickets. You want a hot dog pack? You'll also Come be on. searched for safety. Thank you for your patience. The finest family in the city. No doubt in my mind. Who's done more? And all this. Terrence! You got an invite too? Oh, did you? You don't look like a guy with an invite. I got friends. Just not these kind of friends. Well, I'll tell you what I got. Sailor back there who works on the steamer. His head hit something heavy. But his dandy white suit's fine. Thanks. I'll go find him. I know you'd get a real job someday. So remember, play it cool. When you've gone some ways over the water, find the gun. The janitor stashed it in the bathroom. Sure. Then get up on the roof. Wait for Galati's speech and pop him when he's done. How do I get away? Polly's borrowed a speedboat. After the speech, there's fireworks. We'll come as soon as we've seen him. You better be there on time. Don't worry. Don't worry. It'll go smooth like eggs and coffee. Looking good, Tom. If the outfit don't get messed up, keep it. Suits ya. You the new guy? Christ, you took your time. You think he's gonna pull this off? You sure as shit gonna kill Galati. Getting off that boat? Well, he's gonna need a guardian angel. You don't need no fucking angel. He's got us looking out for him. Done? Yeah. Was gonna go clean the bathrooms. Heard some guests complaining. You're volunteering to clean the toilets? <laughs> Whatever. You got a rag there. Check every deck. Someplace. Nah, don't think so. I swear I know you. Were you with the Union, maybe? Sorry, buddy, I'm from out of town. Can't believe I got an invite. 
Hey, guest only. Hey, go scrub your decks. This is off limits. The man at the bank wasn't helping. Hold him, I take my business elsewhere. <laughs> Seen the janitor any place? Nah, but uh, if I had to put money on it, drunk in the engine room. Say my name again, and you'll be found floating outside. Get that? Uh, yeah, I, I get that. I'll vote for him, and I do more. Sorry. What are you gonna do about it? Well, I'm gonna give you a beat, for starters. Make uh, you pay! Come get him! Uh, uh, Jesus! Uh, Jesus Christ! Uh, uh, Hey, John. Hope you're enjoying yourself. As long as the bar stays open, counselor. <laughs> Good man. Have an order for me, huh? <laughs> Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Hey, thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Hey, welcome to my little party, right? <laughs> so, as you all know, it has been a tough time. Three years ago, my dear son, Billy, left us. An innocent pawn in a deadly gang war. A victim of the deceased, that is, organized crime. Since that day, I have lived only to eradicate this disease. Today is a day for celebration for my 50th birthday. And for a brighter future for lost heaven. The criminals will be driven out of town. They'll drown like rats in the water. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And now for the fireworks, huh?
Could be worse, huh? We could be peeling you off the front of the train. He just got a good break, is all. Sergio Morella's always been lucky. He was born with more brains than his brother, that's for sure. We'll get him, boss. No, you tore off this job. You're broken mirrors on this one. We'll let the guy who killed Galati take a crack. Tommy here's got all the politicians scared. Maybe he can put Sergio in the ground. What do I need to know about this guy? Besides, he's got a lucky rabbit's foot up his ass. Sergio is Morello's top earner. He controls the unions, 
which means he controls the docks and attacks everything that's imported into the city. We kill him, and a big part of Morello's income will be wiped out. Any ideas on how to get to him? I don't want to end up in a tree like these two. You're going to scatter his ashes. It's a custom job. Attach it to the starter under his car. He'll be a human torch as soon as he turns the key. It's safe to carry. Yes, yeah, don't drop it. Shake it. Smoke near it. Yeah, it's safe. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Get it done, Tommy. For all our guys Morales killed. And for all the money he's taken out of our pockets. I'll take care of it, boss. There's no way they'd come here. I used to run with his crew. If Morello wakes up one morning and wants to come heavy, he'll come heavy. Nah, now he won't. He goes with his gut. If there's one thing he's got, it's gut. He see all of the... From the news desk of WLH 570, a special report on crime in our city. It had been hoped by lawmakers and the general public alike that the end of Prohibition would cut off the mob's air supply. But two years since the repeal of the 18th Amendment, it seems to have merely added fuel to the conflagration of crime that engulfs the country. It would appear that removing the conditions that created a new type of virulent gangsterism is not going to remove the problem. The criminal empires that amassed such wealth and power in the last decade and a half are simply too powerful, too deep-rooted to simply be swept away. The more established of these organizations are consolidating their power. The competition between them continues to bring violence and bloodshed into the public square. We saw this in Empire Bay with the Vinci Moretti War that ended in the car bomb killing of mob boss Tommaso Moretti. Gangs such as the Vinci family are now, in many cases, highly sophisticated, well-organized international operations. They owe their success to their brutality and to the many lawmen and legislators in their pockets. Yes, don't allow yourself to be mistaken. The mob may be the instigator, the driving partner, but the corrupt politician or the dirty cop is the facilitator, and both roles must be played for organized crime to flourish. I've heard it mentioned in certain newspapers that the upward trajectory of the economy would quell the mob's opportunities to exploit police and lawmakers. That sadly doesn't appear to be the case. Those engaged in corruption are not doing so to put food on the table. City officials and public servants earn more than most, and did so even at the height of the Depression. So that, frankly, does not wash. Plenty of people far worse off live without sin. As... That's gotta be Sergio's car. How am I gonna get through to it? somewhere.
Yeah, I'll be home before supper. Hey, you want to go dancing this weekend? Maybe drop the kid off at your pop's place. Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, Christ. Hey! Stop! No, no, no. Vinny, it all went bad. Hey, pull it together, Tom. Whatever happened, happened. There's nothing you can do about it now. Sergio's luck is running out. What, what, are, you, what are you talking about? Sam and Paulie have found him. He's in Georgie's restaurant across town. You need to get over there fast. Okay. The chief of police admits his men have yet to apprehend any suspects in the brazen public as... Okay? Yeah, this is the car bomb. Things went south. We could draw about it later. Right now we gotta get that bastard. Let's go! What the hell? We got a message from Mr. Salieri. No! Kill these clowns! Catch up before that idiot gets himself killed!
It's doing kill that motherfucker.
Molotov going out! the docks apart!
Wink me, asshole! You think you're the guy who's gonna kill me? <laughs> what did I tell you? No one.
Wait. No! no! Ah! Ah! 